this is Pranshu. This is how you deal boot of Windows and Linux OS. First, shrink your existing Windows volume to create space for Linux OS. Those two unnamed volumes you see up there are my existing Linux EXT4 partitions that Windows fails to read. You probably won't have those. Go ahead and select an existing Windows NTFS partition on your system and shrink it. We will use this unallocated space for installing Linux later. I've already done it, so I'm going to cancel this. The shrinking might take a while, so please be patient. Once you're done, you're ready to make a bootable drive and install the Linux OS. Now we're ready to make a bootable drive. I'm using Rufus for this, but Unit Boots In and Linux Live are two other tools that can be used for this purpose. Load the Linux image file that you've downloaded earlier, then start the process. Once the process is complete, you are ready to restart your computer, and when you see the Power On self-test screen, press F12 to enter the boot menu, and then boot from the thumb drive to begin installation procedure. If you see the CD-ROM couldn't be mounted error, then remove and reinsert the thumb drive. Alright, now this part is important in ensuring that you do not write over your existing Windows partitions. So go ahead and select Manual. 
Now the idea is to have at least a root mount point and a swap area for the Linux installation. For this we will use the unallocated space uh, that we shrunk before. Do not touch any of the NTFS volumes, they are Windows partitions. Thank you. 